today we have a question from the students side this question is regarding the biology and chemistry and it's a very interesting question what is the question we'll talk about this a moment later first of all let me give you guys the concept regarding the question now what is the question uh, the concept of the question simple the very first thing that you guys must remember is that when we have two things like a and b these two things we want to approach each other or you can say when these two things want to, to bond together what will they do they will release the energy energy is supposed to be released then these two things will approach or they will bond together why a bond with a bond through bond whatever you understanding whatever the statement you are getting just keep that in mind simple the very first thing is that when two things are joining together they are supposed to release the energy this this is the point number two thing is that number two point is that if we give the energy to this particular uh, molecule which is formed what will happen this will break back into two components so what we got here we got here two points number one when energy is when two things are actually joining they are supposed to release energy r stands for release e for energy and here in the second point we got that when we want to break two things so we want to separate two things we are supposed to give the energy here we are giving and here energy is released provide energy we got two important points number one if we want to bring two things together we want to form the bond these are supposed to release the energy they are supposed to release the energy the very first point second point if you want to break the bond between the two things we must give the energy releasing and giving or providing okay releasing energy and providing energy this is the concept the main point that you guys must remember keep in mind now what is the question here by regarding this concept is that that is atp in the atp we have adenosine attached with the sugar and that is further attached with the three phosphates inorganic phosphates so what is happening here by whenever there is a requirement of the energy atp is supposed to break into adp plus inorganic phosphate plus energy means energy is produced now what is happening here simple in the atp we have three inorganic phosphates when there is the need of energy atp is converted into adp and inorganic phosphate here d means two so what is happening here by simple the same adenosine with the sugar but this time two phosphates are here one is removed with the energy now a question is here that is asked by the students the question is how bond breaking is releasing the energy where we have got the concept in the beginning that energy when is supposed to be provided to the bonds uh, to the molecule in order to break the bonds between the two substances or two molecules now here we got the concept we must give the energy if you want to break the bonds and here the bond is breaking and including that there is the release of energy so now it seems like this concept is wrong no it is correct now the thing is that we have not got the entire concept the entire mechanism the entire chemistry hereby i will give you guys a little bit a superficial concept of the chemistry regarding chemistry perspective and biology perspective that you guys uh, may get the concept hereby this is correct this concept is correct and this is the correct procedure also but what remaining here is regarding students point of view is uh, actually there are two points that you guys must remember number one point is that remember this ATP uh, breakage is just like an exothermic reaction. We know exo exothermic reaction in the chemistry and exergonic reactions. You might have remembered these two terms like exothermic exergonic exo reactions. Now, in these kind of reactions, whether it is chemistry or biology, there is the release of the energy when two things are breaking or whatsoever is happening whenever the reaction is actually about to accomplish or about to complete. So, when two things are actually breaking, together for when they are detaching when the bond is breaking between two things there is the release of energy 
So the same concept uh, is actually here by in this particular concept that is when the ATP is breaking into ADP and inorganic phosphate energy is released hereby because this is an exothermic reaction. What more is hereby that you, will help you guys further to get the concept is that remember here we have three inorganic phosphates or, and uh, all have negative charges or have negative charges and we guys uh, we know this point very well that uh, like charges repel each other so the second point you guys must remember is that here we have like charges so they are supposed to repel each other now again the point that is remaining is how this bond is breaking does it break on its own no does it break on its own the question is no here the same concept applies again that is there must be a starter energy given to the this bond breaking that is actually provided by the water so here we will give the water or water is supposed to come here water will come here water will approach here water will do the hydrolysis so this bond will be actually broken by mean of the hydrolysis now as this bond breaks there will be the release of the energy now where this energy comes from simple in the beginning it was actually fully energized these three phosphates are having negative charges and they were actually holded by a very strong type of covenant bond when we are uh, breaking that bond by means of the water water is actually a very simple starter a small starter it will start the reaction and then the already uh, a kind of filled covenant strong bonds when they are actually uh, given a kind of you know a kind of idea a kind of starting material is given to them consider these bonds like spring when you compress a spring okay spring is in compressed form when you just release so that's that what will happen to the spring spring will actually a kind jump jump like okay you will see jumping like a mechanism the same is hereby energy is a kind stored so when you just give the water here by the water is just like uh, remember just compare this concept with the uh, when you release your pressure from the spring so when this water is actually a kind releasing the pressure from uh, in between the bonds here by so when this water approaches here these two bonds the bond will break and in, in the meanwhile what will happen in the meanwhile there will be the release of the energy so i hope you got the concept if still you have confusion drop in the comment box and thank you for watching